to Kristen Kelly TV. So I'm going to do an update about my vlog from yesterday. So I got my face micro needled yesterday and I put up a vlog showing you guys like what it looked like when I was getting it done. Just wanted to answer some questions a lot of people had or a few people had but then I also just wanted to answer some questions that you might have. First of all, what is microneedling? Microneedling is essentially they take a pen and the pen has 12 needles in it and it just very fastly goes into your skin, breaking your skin apart. And what that does, it's almost like if you had a piece of paper and you were like stabbing it. So it breaks apart your skin, which damages your skin and then that makes your skin rebuild itself, which is super cool. It also makes it so that you get rid of fine lines, you get rid of scars, hyperpigmentation, it can do a lot of good for your skin. So how much was the procedure? The procedure, I paid $99 because I got a Groupon and then I tipped $20 to the esthetician and then I paid five for parking. So between tipping the esthetician, parking and the Groupon, I paid $126, which is great because normally it's between three to 400 for one session. So I recommend going to Groupon, just do your homework, Yelp, whoever you want to go to make sure that it's somebody that knows what they're doing uh, because it is needles and it is your face. I went to a plastic surgeon's office and had an esthetician do it so I felt very comfortable because it was a plastic surgeon's office. I really liked the esthetician who did it also. She was really knowledgeable and she told me a lot about my skin. I was not so I wanted to do the procedure because I have right here and right here I have two scars that were from getting facials and the fa esthetician not knowing what she was doing and extracting my skin too much or just doing something she wasn't supposed to. So I have an indentation here and an indentation there. I really wanted to try the microdermabrasion because, uh, or the, not microdermabrasion, I'm sorry, the microneedling because I wanted to see if it would get rid of those scars. I wasn't expecting much. I mean, I'm somebody who's, I've paid like $500 to get a procedure where you're supposed to get rid of your cellulite gone 12 times and it didn't get rid of my cellulite. So I'm not somebody who was like, so, oh my God, this is gonna be a life game changer. But it really was. I, the indentation on my chin is not noticeable right now. I'm still healing, so my chin is kind of red and blotchy, but it doesn't look like the indentation is there anymore from what I can see. The one on my nose, I still can see it. And normally when I do my makeup, I'll put a pore filling primer on and then I'll put foundation on, but I, it bothers me. It really does. Like just seeing those little indentations really bothers me. So I wanted to try this and I have to say that I love the procedure. I'm definitely going to do it again. I'm probably going to go to the same place. I mean, I might get another group on for somewhere else just to test it out, but I really liked it and you can do it every four weeks. So I'm probably going to do it again in four weeks. If you have really bad acne scars, I really recommend this. If you go online, you can go on um, just even other YouTube videos or you can just look on Google, Google images. You can see before and after pictures. And I mean, people have really bad acne scars and they almost were completely gone. And you can do it on stretch marks as well. So I really wanted to try it. I'm super happy. I can't even tell you how happy I am with the procedure. My skin feels great. It looks great. Um, yeah. Uh, what ha what was it painful? It was not painful. So she put numbing cream on my face and the numbing cream really numbed my face. I couldn't feel anything. It just felt like pressure, like somebody was like poking your skin, but it or for your face, but it didn't feel like I couldn't feel the needles at all. Like not at all. And I've done the roller ones at home and those like made my eyes water. This did not make my eyes water. Like this, when I get my eyebrows wax, or not wax, when I get my eyebrows threaded, my eyebrows like make my entire face hurt and my eyes always water. This didn't even do that. So it was not painful. Right now my skin is very sore and it feels really tight and dry, but she said that that's really normal. I am kind of scared to wash my face or to put moisturizers on it. So I didn't wash it at all yesterday. This morning I didn't wash it. I just got a little bit of water on it and then I put a little bit of essence, a little SK2 on it. But other than that, I haven't done anything because a lot of moisturizers, she said, would irritate my skin and it's healing so I don't want to do that. She also said don't put makeup on 
and if you're gonna go outside put sunscreen on I did walk the dogs but I haven't really been outside my skin kind of hurts and my face feels um, really tight and I don't really have to go anywhere today so I just decided to stay at home not have to put like any moisturizers or sunscreens on and just chill and relax so that's what I'm doing today so it said day one there should be redness depending on the aggressiveness of the treatment day two mild redness and slight swelling and she said if you have swelling to take a Benadryl and then three day three skin returns to normal color and swelling goes away so probably tomorrow or the next day I'll probably get back to my normal like washing with my Luna 2 my Foreo Luna 2 and get back to using my creams and my essences and my moisturizers but right now I just haven't because my skin just feels really raw and I want to give it time to heal it says for the post procedure, it says day one, avoid direct sunlight for 14 days. Apply physical sunscreen for the first 24 hours. Do not apply cosmetic makeup for 24 hours. And the reason she said that is, is because your skin could actually pull the pigment from makeup because your skin is open, kind of like if you were to get a tattoo. So if you put makeup on, it's gonna go into your skin and make it kind of, like it could pull the pigment and you don't want that. Um, and then she said like what to do and she said to avoid for the first five days avoid alcohol based toners witch hazel acids retinols vitamin a vitamin c and exfoliant so I'm not doing anything or putting anything on my face definitely for the first five days and then it also says to not exercise go into the sauna tanning bed steam room swimming pool jacuzzi tubs or anything with heat because you're you don't want to get bacteria into your face because you could get an infection which is really awesome that they gave me that not really awesome that you can have an infection um what else so the place that i went normally for one treatment it's 375 for three treatments it's 690 and for five treatments it's 995 so I was really lucky to get this Groupon that's why I recommend going on Groupon but make sure that you research who you're getting it by because when I was looking up when I was looking at places that were doing this procedure there was a place that was doing the vampire facial which is essentially the same thing but they actually take some blood from you and they put it through a machine and they take out the plasma and then they'll put that onto your face I was looking on Groupon and there was a place that did that and it was a dentist office and it was a dentist. I was like, no, 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 no. Just because you're a doctor does not mean that you specialize in this field. Like a lot of nurses, they'll work in med spas, but they don't know anything about skin because they went to school to be a nurse. Go to an esthetician. That's what they specialize in. So they know what they're doing and they'll, you know, not they won't steer you wrong because that's all they went to school for is esthetician is skin. So a lot of times these nurses that work in med spas, they don't know what they're doing. So, uh, don't ever let somebody touch your skin that doesn't know what they're doing is all I can say about that. I don't think what else, uh, I don't think there's anything else in these pamphlets, but yeah, that's everything. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If there's any other procedures you want me to try and you want me to like vlog and tell you guys about my experience, let me know. All right, talk to you later. Bye.